Oh no! I wanted to kill the actor playing Trevor because he kept farting on set all the time. We went in there, man, and we literally threw down the scripts. Oh, he went upside my head. I thumped him in the chest. It was like, boom, showdown. I knew right then that we were gonna get that thing. I think the Michael ending is bullshit. See, that's the thing. Michael was better to him than he was to his own freaky kids. Should have killed Lamar. Oh, 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 here we go. Oh, peachy, I know what this is about. No, you don't. I mean, that's it, right? Huh? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? But Michael ain't the problem. Yeah. That's right, it's you, you crazy. Can I swear on this thing? Because he's a crazy f That's all there is to it. I ain't been nothing but straight and true with you. Straight and true. Straight and true. But the truth ain't what I'm interested in. See, that's Trevor. That's Trevor right there. He runs like a big freaking wuss every time, man. He runs. Unless you hit his little buttons where it makes him have his, uh, you know, his power mode or whatever it is, you know. He just takes off running. That's like in the graveyard. He throws a gun at me and runs off and leaves me for the Chinese. And everybody, oh, Trevor's so loyal. Trevor's so loyal. Trevor. I don't like Trevor. When I did this chase when I was playing, I would put on Franklin's special ability. I get right up on him and all of a sudden Trevor's driving like 800 miles an hour, zigging and zagging in, a, in an SUV. I, I, don't, I don't get it. It's just, it made no sense to me. But I understand. You, you don't, they're not going to let you catch him until you get to the oil derricks. This is the ending I picked, by the way. A. I picked A. It was the only ending that made any sense. I mean, why would, why would, why would Franklin kill Michael? You know, he's, he's his buddy, he's, he's, you know, he's his pal, he's the guy you can drink beer with, you know? Did you play this game? Because I, th there's no way I'm on his <laughs> that tight. I'm like at least three tries. Oh, so you gonna run from me, huh? Oh yeah, he gonna run from you, Frankie. He gonna run from everybody. <laughs> Canadian, what do you expect? <laughs> oh my God. Every time you ever run into something, right? You can just crash right through it. You can do it, whatever, right? You just get out of the car and walk away and everything's groovy, right? Not this time. Trevor's coming out of the car gagging. He's like, oh, oh, oh. If this was in game, it would be like, yeah, he'd just come out of the thing and probably, you know, rip a fart and start shooting people. When you're playing this scene, I don't know how you guys are gonna do it. It'll be interesting. The cutscene at the end works if you let Michael pull the trigger, not Franklin. So we'll see what you guys did. That's what I love about Steven is, is he's a very subtle actor. Everything's low key, chill. Can Franklin pull the trigger? Oh no! Wrong guy! And that could just be because I always wanted to kill Trevor anyway. I wanted to kill the actor playing Trevor because he kept farting on set all the time. Okay, this comes one of my favorite lines of the whole thing. It's certainly been an education. Surviving is winning, Franklin. Everything else is bullshit. Fairy tales spun by people afraid to look life in the eye. Whatever it takes, kid. Survive. That's probably the second most requested line. Either that one or not a go yourself. One or the other. <laughs> This would not have happened in real life if he was if if he was coming there to clip me, and I realized it. I would have hit my two buttons because I could do that in real life. I could hit my two buttons, slow down, and and pop him, and then it, B becomes kill Franklin instead of kill Michael. Oh my God! We shot this climbing those stairs. I had to do it in chunks. It took like six hours to just climb the stairs. I think. Yeah, this is what I get for three and a half years of mocap, right? They get an option to kill me. Yeah, thanks a lot, Rockstar. Appreciate it. I was looking out for you, too. That ain't true. See, that's the thing. He took care of him like family. Michael was better to him than he was to his own freaky kids. Sometimes you have these, these scenes where you do a lot of walking, a lot of running, whatever. It takes a long time just to get there. Like at the observatory, going to see uh, Davey, how you doing, that thing. It, it, that was, just to get to Dave probably took three, four hours. It was crazy. 
That was that was some good stuff. You know, Solo came so far as an actor in this thing. And when we first started, it was like, you know, he was very stiff because he was a rapper. You know, he's in, you know, that that game. You know, the hip hop game. As we went on, he got so good. And by by the time we did this, forget about it. He was a pro, man. We actually did this where I was hanging off, and and the drop was probably about this far. <laughs> but but just like this, I, I, this thing here, I don't understand either. It's like okay, Franklin's like debating: is he gonna kill me or not? He tries to pull me up, and I've just been fighting for my life, and I'm gonna headbutt him and go. Makes no sense. Should have killed Lamar. Poor Franklin. Now he's gonna quote Michael in this phone call, which is another great line these guys wrote. Man, you know how it is, homie. You just start running and shit, and all of a sudden your legs give and you just can't run no more. You actually doing something? <laughs> Lamar in. Sleek Johnson play Lamar. Lamar, man. What's up? Can a low come up in your crib? Or solo, right in the middle of it all. <laughs> Franklin. Trevor backs off, as usual. Some would say it's because he has more tolerance. I would say it's because he knew I had him between the eyes. <laughs> My agent called and said, hey, we got an audition for you. It's for a video game. I said, I'm not going to do a video game. I'm not a voice actor. And she goes, well, it's by Rockstar. And I said, well, who the hell's Rockstar? Well, they do really cool games like, you know, Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption. And I said, oh, I played those games. Yeah, I just never paid attention to who the developers were. And when they sent me the material, I went from, I'm not going to do this to nobody else is going to do this. We go into this thing and the guy, the other Michael starts panicking. He's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, we're not using this. I, I prepared this, you know, and I can see the panic in his eyes. And meanwhile, I'm reading it. And I'm going, oh man, this stuff's good. This is good. Steven and that guy went in first. But I was like, I was like, dude, how, how is that for you, man? And he goes, oh, it was fine, you know, and everything. And I was like going, man, I hope you can bring it. And Steve goes, oh, I'll bring it. <laughs> and we went in there, man. And we literally threw down the scripts. We went at it, it was physical. You know, he went upside my head. I thumped him in the chest. It was like, boom, showdown. And it was like, that was it, I knew. I knew right then that we were going to get that thing, that there was no way. But then the, the director comes out and he's from Stoke-on-Trent in the UK. Thick accent. And he's telling the story and everybody's laughing and, you know, and, and I just went, I went, I got to be honest with you, man. I, I don't understand a fucking word you're saying. <laughs> and he just turned and walked away. And I was like, oh, man, I think I might have blown it. So that was the audition process. Steve Haynes, by the way, Rob Bogue, I love that character. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. Everybody hates him. I loved him, man. He was he was so funny. You had to play by the rules. So is Devin Weston. Devin Weston's played by Jonathan Walker, Johnny Walker. Another guy who you just you just hate him. Everybody who came in, freaking delivered, man. It just made the three lead guys, it just made our job so much easier. Even Chop delivered. He was a real dog. He freaking delivered, man. The first chop they had to get rid of because he wasn't he wasn't good. <laughs> He was a bad boy. And they brought in another chop. I remember Solo going up to him and go, give me like nuggets, yo, what up, dog? <laughs> His dog goes, it's pretty funny. So this is the ending that everybody chose, you know, for the most part. The fat kid who's in the basement eating paste, dreaming of being Trevor, he would kill Michael. The guys who hated Trevor, they would kill Trevor. But for the most part, everybody chose, you know, it was C. C was the ending that everybody wanted. And apparently that turns out to be what they call canon. I guess everybody calls that canon when it's the official thing. It was 104 hours for me in the booth doing voiceover as well. So, you know, I don't mind being called a voice actor. As long as there's actor on the end of it, that's fine with me. I don't care. Steven Ogg just, he just destroyed this this role, Trevor. To the point where he, it pisses him off because people know him as Trevor and not as anybody else that he's ever done. You know what I mean? Like people see him and they don't go, oh, you're Simon, you know, from Walking Dead. They're like, Trevor, Trevor, you know. It just, it just, it just kills him. Me, I just, I'm, I'm happy he's just getting recognized. Hey, you're Michael. Yeah, this thing, hey, how you doing? Now, this is funny. Like Steven, he just has no clue what to do right now. Uh, uh, and cut. <laughs>
<laughs> and that was basically it. No clue. What do I do? I think the Michael ending is bullshit, personally. It really has nothing to do with my character being killed. It's just, to me, it's just a dumb ending. It doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I mean, there's great interaction, you know, and stuff like, why are you doing this? You know, uh, I, I brought you into my family. I treated you like my own kid, you know, blah, blah, blah. There's all that, which is great. You know, the writing's good, but overall, it just didn't make any sense to me. As far as the Trevor one goes, that made the most sense because, and I'm very open about it, I, I don't like the Trevor character. Like, I've had debates with, with fans and stuff, you know, like, how could you kill Trevor? And for me, it was really easy. When Brad got killed in the prologue, you know, Trevor was supposed to get killed there. Trevor was a threat because Trevor was Quack. smart, you know, but he was also a, a crazy guy. He was a loose handle. So if I'm Michael and I got to choose between my family and Trevor, it's a simple choice. And that's what it came down to because I didn't know what Trevor was going to do as Michael. So it's easy choice. Trevor dies. As far as C, where, you know, everybody survives, it's funny because if you look at it, that, that line where he goes, uh, so as friends, do I have a choice? Not really. Uh, okay, then as awkward, uh, whatever, friends. That kind of mirrors real life because in real life, Solo and I are like brothers. We're, we're like tremendous friends. And Steven has kind of distanced himself from the game, you know, and everything. So, you know, it's like that in real life. Rewatching it right now, it hit me that way. It never had before, but it hit me that way. You know, so that's kind of like, I, I, I'm kind of liking that ending now all of a sudden. That's my take on it anyway. I'm Ned Luke. Follow me on Instagram, at Ned underscore Luke. Same thing on Twitter, X. I'm even on TikTok. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, because subscribing is winning. Everything else is bullshit.